people that had been harassing and stalking me, and still are actually, but the people that, they've, they've mellowed it out quite a bit, thank goodness, uh, but they'll probably pick it up as soon as they need more ratings. Uh, but, for example, I want to point out what stalking and harassment of a mentally ill woman, a defenseless mentally ill woman, looks like. So this is one of them. And uh, he's bragging about selling this woman's reactions to his audience, which will provide him with a vacation to Cancun. He's also stating that he's taken down the videos he's made about her. This is victim blaming. This is what victim blaming looks like. Okay? This is them trying to blame her for her speaking out against their abuse of her. Okay, so he's saying that he took them down and if she ever speaks about them again, then he'll put them back up and it's all her fault. So he's trying to say it's her fault that he lied about her. It's her fault that he fabricated evidence against her. And it's her fault that he continues to lie about her. Okay, you have to take that into consideration. Now I'm going to get, I'm going to continue a little further. I want everybody to keep in mind that this is the gentleman that threatened to murder me, okay, and all he does is harass defenseless women, and here he is, defend he's harassing a defenseless mentally ill woman, constantly, constantly harassing her. Do you understand this? This is what he does, all day, every day, and tries to say that I'm harassing women. Okay, he is harassing a pregnant woman here. Okay, what is he doing? He's harassing women, trying to convince the public that I'm harassing women. No, he is an abuser of, woman, of women. He abuses women online like the previous person that I had showed you. Now this is that same gentleman threatening to murder me. He threatens to literally come to the United States, acquire a firearm, come to my home, and murder me if I quote-unquote go after his children. Mind you, I didn't even know the gentleman had any children, etc. He is only saying this as a weak justification to threaten to murder me. Okay? But listen, he literally threatened to come to the United States, acquire a firearm, and have friends ready to give an alibi if he came to my home and murdered me. These are the people that are harassing a defenseless, mentally ill woman. Marking a dead person who's not involved with drama. Now, granted, I, I suppose I can't really claim innocence in that one, but you, again, you could have defeated me on that, but you chose not to. Instead, you want to double down. And then let's go after people's kids, James. That's the only thing you haven't done yet, is go after people's kids. But rest assured, if you go after my kids, James, I will be on a plane in Philadelphia and I will be at your door and I will finish you for good. What Pay careful attention to what he says here. Pay very careful attention to what he says here. And I'm putting on the transcript so you can see it. The person tried that before. I found them. I gave them a very simple warning. You've got your choice. If I hear one more word from you, one more word, now mind you, I've never said anything about this guy's kids. I didn't even know this guy had kids. I still don't even know if this guy really has kids. Everything could be made up. I don't really know. All he's done is said he's had kids. Um, I have reported him to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I have reported him to the police. And I have reported him to the hospital security staff where he has threatened to stalk a woman that works at a hospital because he's a maniac. Okay? He's a goddamned maniac. And this is the guy that is, that is basically um, working at threatening, intimidating, and harassing a defenseless, mentally ill woman named Mary. And knock at your door, and you better pray to God it's the cops. Because if it's me, the cops are going to have to come and take me away. That was the choice, James. Go after, so if you want to escalate to that level, I'll be on a plane to Philadelphia within 48 hours. Guarantee you. And I'm pretty sure there's a few people in here who would quite happily provide me with an alibi. Or possibly a firearm or two. Or possibly a firearm or two. Read the transcript. I'm not making up what he said. This is what he said, not what I said. 
And I'm pretty sure there's a few people in here who would quite happily provide me with an alibi. Or possibly a firearm or two.